Sky Nicholson in pink today. Uh, just I've to, got to let sh people see the outfit first. Okay. What's the inspiration behind the outfit? Maisie Rose was boxing in pink tonight. Okay, Maisie Rose, she did well, she got the win. She did, she did, 3-0. Oh. Good learning fight for Maisie. Um, good six rounds in the bank, I think. Uh, it was a tougher fight than she expected, but I think that was really good. I think that's what she needed. I think um, I wish I could have more real fights like that, so I'm glad she got to have that early in her career. Good stuff. Before I talk about the other fights, what did you think of the atmosphere? Because I know you've been ringside for some of the biggest fights in the last 12 months. I think that's one of the best I've, I've, uh, I've been in. It was unreal. It was. I had goosebumps for the whole ring walk uh, for Katie Taylor. It was, yeah, it was very, very special. Let's talk about Gary Cully quickly. How unlucky was he? I mean, I, you can't really say unlucky, um, but I, my heart definitely broke for him. I was, I was devastated for him, obviously. This was his homecoming as well, so it was really, really sad. But, um, I mean, he was going to go back to the drawing board when something like that happens, I guess. Um, but, yeah, my heart definitely broke for him. It was, a, it was a hard thing to watch. Did the stoppage come in too late? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think uh, it, it, it probably should have been stopped a bit earlier, but... That's boxing. It sure is, and let's talk about the main event. Um, what did you make of the scorecards? A lot of people online had Chantel winning quite wide. Yeah, I, I didn't have it that wide, really. Um, I actually thought maybe a draw or Chantel by one round. So very similar to the judges. Um, I'm glad that it went to the right girl and they didn't uh, rob Chantel, given the atmosphere, the crowd, the homecoming. Um, I don't think Katie would have wanted, wanted to win that way and um, that was Chantel's moment. She, she came to spoil the party and she spoiled the party in style. Um, I think she was the, the better girl on the night and, and I'm very, very happy for her. I heard Eddie say that he felt that Katie looked like she was really tired quite early in the fight. Did you pick up on that as well? Yeah, I did a little bit. I think, I don't want to say that the, um, the atmosphere drained her or anything like that. Like, you don't know, but she is human at the end of the day and these things have to take effect. But also, I, I think she just did have a slow start. I think she found herself, she found her feet, um, she found her rhythm a bit more in the later rounds, but um, it was a little bit late by then, unfortunately, for Katie. What next for both fighters? I'd love to well, see them run it back. I mean, I and, uh, felt like it was a very competitive fight. The rounds were almost too hard to score some of those rounds. So, um, it was a, yeah, it was a very, it was a very impressive boxing match. Um, the girls stole the show, um, as expected. And yeah, I'd love to see them run it back. But I think they both have options. I think um, Chantel wants McCaskill's bait. Uh, belts at 147, so um, whether it's that or whether it's the Katie rematch, um, Chantel's got options there. I think Katie's got so many options. I mean, everyone wants to fight Katie. She's she's the draw card. She's the big name, um, and I think it'll it'll be good for Katie to just, I guess, reflect on everything that's happened here and um, and sit with her team and, and see what's that next best move for her. I think she will definitely want the rematch, whether that's next or further down the line. Um, we'll have to see what she decides. We sure will. Uh, Sky Nicholson. Appreciate your time. Enjoy your trip to Dubai. <laughs> Thank you.